let's talk about organizing our waypoints. You know, it's the fall, it's the off season. Everybody's going to get to their tackle, rods and reels, but who thinks about their waypoints? What I like to do is go into my units, I'll extract all my waypoints, and then import them into Hummingbird PC, and then I can organize everything and back it up. I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, let's go over how to extract or export your waypoints on an Onyx unit. First thing you want to do is you want to get to your home screen, which is where we are right now. And to get there, you just press the home button. Along the bottom, you'll see the different apps. you got nav data in the far left. Go ahead and hit that, and this is going to bring us to our nav data screen. This is where we see all of our, way, all of our waypoints, and we can manage waypoints. Down here under options is groups. So once I tap the groups, it's going to bring me to all these different folders that I created this past season. So now I want to take and place my SD card into the Onyx unit and let's select my Lake Erie folder. I go there and I select export group. So now this is going to export all those waypoints onto my SD card and then I'm ready to go and put it into Hummingbird PC. All right, now we'll talk about how to extract your waypoints on the new Helix series units. Now the operating system on the Helix is the same as what you saw on the 8s, 9s, 11 series units. So it's, steps are going to be the same if you have one of those. The main difference is now we're going to use a micro SD card. So we go ahead and enter the micro SD card into the unit and then we want to press menu twice to get us to our main menu and then tab across the top over to nav. If we go down twice, we're in waypoints, routes, and tracks. From here, we want to go to the options. So we press up once and we highlight options. We enter into that. Now here we can select multiple waypoints or in this case, we want to select all. And now we want to export them. Confirm, yes, we want to put them on the SD card. All right, and it's complete. Now we take that and go to the Hummingbird PC program. Once you've downloaded your waypoints to an SD card, now we're going to bring them into the computer and we're going to open them up in Hummingbird PC. If you don't have Hummingbird PC, you can go to Hummingbird.com to download it and also check to make sure you're running the latest version. Once you open up Hummingbird PC and you have your SD card inside the computer, it'll show up right here on the display. One of the ways to open it is to go into File. We can go to Open. We'll locate that destination where the waypoints are. There's my folder right there. We open that up and then it displays it over here on the side. We hit the plus sign to expand it. We can see we got waypoints, routes, and tracks. We want to click on waypoints. Now this is going to show us all the waypoints that we downloaded from our unit. I'm going to go ahead and click one of them, and then I'm going to hit the shortcut key, control A, to select all of them. And it's going to tell us down at the bottom that we have 163 waypoints selected, which matches what our unit said when we downloaded them. Now an amazing feature that Hummingbird has on this program is we can look at all of our waypoints on Google Earth. So if you select the waypoints that you want to view, in this case, we want to view all of them, and then come up here to the shortcut, the little globe says view in Google Earth. Once we click that, it's going to open up Google Earth. If you don't already have it, then you need to download Google Earth first. What Google Earth does once you select it is it will pan in on all the waypoints that you selected. So as you can see here, we have all of our Lake Erie waypoints, which was from our Lake Erie folder on the unit, but we also have a few others down here. Now I know that I made a trip to Kentucky Lake after I left Lake Erie and I have a few waypoints that are in this folder. So now I'm going to show you how to extract those waypoints and then save them into a different folder. So now what we want to do is go back to Hummingbird PC and we want to isolate those waypoints. So now what I will do is I will sort all my waypoints by latitude and now I can see that I have a north 36 degree waypoints and then I jump to a north 41. Well, I know that North 36 is further south than North 41, so I know that those are my waypoints on Kentucky Lake. So I'll go ahead and I'll select all those waypoints. And now I want to move them out of the folder. You can do this two ways. You can either just delete them, or in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder. So I go up to the new file icon, I click on it, and it just gives us a generic name. You can go in and you can change that, either by right-clicking and going to edit, or just double-clicking and changing the name on it. So we'll call this Kentucky Lake. Okay, once we've labeled that, now I can go ahead and expand it and you can see I have the same folders here. If I look at waypoints, there's nothing there. So what I wanna do now is grab those waypoints I selected from my Lake Erie folder and I'm gonna drag them over here onto my Kentucky Lake waypoint folder. Now they're in there. Then I can go back into my Lake Erie folder and go ahead and delete those. You can just right click and go down to delete and hit yes. All right, now that those waypoints are deleted, I wanna go ahead and just confirm that I got them all. So again, I'll select one of them, use the shortcut key, control A, and then come back up here to Google Earth. 
Now we see Google Earth is going to pan in on the waypoints I selected, which was all of them. And now we're all the way up here at Lake Erie. So I know that I got all those. So now we can come back into Hummingbird PC and we can relabel this folder Lake Erie. So there you have it. Using the Onyx, using the Helix units, how to take your waypoints off, put them into Hummingbird PC, and then how to keep them organized.